Hi guys, I was just going to dispose of this gravity powered car that I made the other day, all out of cardboard. But I thought before it goes, I'll just try a couple of the um, tips or hints that I'd given people to try and make them run easier. Uh, one of the ones I already used on the video was expand the back axle, make it thicker. That gives you more leverage to get the wheel moving. Another piece of advice I gave was to actually make the wheels smaller because then they need less power to get them moving. So I've just drawn round the edge about quarter of an inch in on all of them and I'm going to cut that out and see if that does actually help to make it run easier. Smaller wheels need less power to move them. The only thing is it won't go as far. Right. I've cut the outside edges off the wheels, so we've got the same pulley, same weight. Mm, don't think I cut those wheels very round, did I? So, I think the simple answer is that didn't help. But it may just be that I just didn't cut those wheels very well. Yeah, I think that's what that is. I think there's a, a ridge or something on one of the, at least one of the wheels, probably all of them. Yeah, I can feel it as I move it. Right, so I've made a mess of the wheels. One other thing I might just try before I do my final option, which is use CDs instead of cardboard wheels. I've got a bit of plastic tubing here, which happens to be the right diameter to go over there which will be a better bearing surface for the pulley. So I'm going to put that in place through that um, drinking straw and that should make the bearing surface better. Right, so we've now got that bit of plastic tubing in there. I think we can just see the edge of it here. So that should improve the friction or we'll reduce the friction uh, but we've still got the problem with the dents in the wheels just move it over the dent no Oh, that is definitely moving better. But it's a bit like one of those children's toys where the wheels bounce up and down. Because I've made a mess trying to trim them. going as far because we've got smaller wheels so each rotation is moving the car a shorter distance than they did when they were bigger wheels. What I'm going to do now is use some double-sided sticky tape and just stick CDs straight over the existing wheels. So we've now got CD wheels, so we'll see how that goes. So test run, CD wheels, oh, I 
think we could see a difference there, couldn't we? Let's just see if we can get a straight run. I suppose I could try and go back the opposite way. Heading back the opposite way, try and point it in the right direction. So that's the difference that decent wheels make. Probably an extra two or three meters in that case because we were able to freewheel on those nice smooth wheels. Those CDs are actually just a tiny bit smaller than the original wheels. Because I did measure them before I cut the outsides off the original wheels so there you go if you want to go further put decent wheels on it and improve the friction on your pulley or reduce the friction on your pulley thanks for watching if you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.